we are here at the premiere of Reggae Boys documentary film. I play one of the lead roles in the film and it's a beautiful vibration. Come check it out. The movie is about Jamaican resilience. Uh, it follows the path of the 2013 national soccer team trying to make it to the World Cup, which everybody knows they didn't make the World Cup, but they made it in other ways. They inspired the country regardless. And so this film merges soccer, music, Jamaican talent, Jamaican vibrancy and creativity to tell a story of resilience in the end. And I hope that's going to inspire people. Where was this movie filmed? Uh, all over Jamaica. Actually all over, all over the Caribbean and North America because I followed the team as they were, let's say, playing Mexico or Panama or the US. So a lot of it was filmed here in Kingston and surrounding areas, Jamaica. But we also have scenes uh, in other countries. I have seen it already. Uh, I watched it uh, yesterday because it, I couldn't couldn't hold myself back at it. I was so excited about it, and it's worthwhile seeing it twice, even more than twice. It's very inspirational. You are going to see it. Uh, it's um, telling a lot about Jamaica, actually, about Jamaican culture, about Jamaican even life philosophy. If you listen to him in the film, you learn a lot about Jamaica. So it's a wonderful film. It's really a bridge between our two countries. You know, we are have two soccer crazy countries, Jamaica and, and, and Germany, and uh, so that is a perfect uh, exchange, I would say. Getting into the world. Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore is under pressure after another loss. Fans demand that he selects players from Jamaica's local Premier League in lieu of the players from abroad. <laughs> has indeed taken the decision to tender his resignation. I have accepted that resignation. We just watched the documentary for the Reggae Boys. I think it was really great. The cinematography was good. The, um, the music, the score was amazing. Um, I think it was engaging the whole way through and very insightful, especially if you're not somebody who follows football like that or sports in general. But I think it was really, 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 really good and very much worth the watch. 30 seconds of the Jamaica's dreams are drowning right in front of our eyes. 